Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! November 21, 2003. When his parents left on a vacation, Nathan was left with the responsibility of staying home alone. Oh, no! That was until his uncle, Eric, arrived from the airport. Look, I say this with all due respect, but f oh. Uncle Eric. This is my home, and is Uncle Eric outside? Uncle Eric is not outside. Oh God, when was the last time I cleaned the kitchen? It doesn't even look that bad, honestly. Look like you've been eating ass though. What is that? Look like chocolate poo-poo sprinkles. Put this in the sink, right? Like that? If only it were that easy to clean dishes, right? Just throw them there and they just disappear into the abyss. So look at that. Boom. Bob. Oh. Uncle. Uncle Eric. Alright, let me see what this rat bastard wants. Hey there, kiddo! How's my favorite nephew? Great. How was your day? It was alright. How about you? Yeah, I don't want to be too optimistic. This guy looks like a little fuckface. But I'm gonna say it was alright. How about you? I was pretty busy at work, but... I'm happy to be here now. Yeah, I have no idea what to say to that. Dot, 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 buddy. I'm going to take a shower, if that's okay. All right. Sounds good. If you need anything, just tell me. You got it. And now Uncle Eric is in the home. So that's cute. What was that? Did y'all see that? The TV just started flickering. Good oh. evening. I'm Connor Fallon. And tonight we bring you a special report on a concerning development in the Benton neighborhood. According to recent reports... There have been multiple cases of missing persons over the past few Ooh, weeks, leaving like the community in a state of anxiety what and uncertainty. World? One local well, resident I'm what am I on right now? involved in addressing this issue is Sarah, what? who has been a resident of the Benton community for over two decades. Why is my vision like this? In a recent interview, Sarah expressed her apprehension about the frequency of these disappearances Bro, it's and the getting need for the than Japanese to take what is proactive going on? measures in addressing the issue. It is alarming to think that individuals can simply vanish without a trace. This is happening too frequently in our neighborhood, Why and is it is time for like us that? to take this matter seriously. I'm sorry, everybody. The families of these missing persons this are understandably concerned and worried, Sarah stated. The police have confirmed that they are investigating each case of a missing person, however, as of yet, no leads have been found. Okay. Consequently, the Benton Boulevard community remains on high alert, with many taking extra precautions to Boulevard? ensure their safety. Better not be. We will continue to monitor this situation closely and bring you updates as they become available. In the meantime, this is Connor Fallon reporting for International News Network, reminding viewers to remain vigilant and support one another during these uncertain times. Okay, now I'm shaking in my booty shorts. I really don't understand why my vision's so blurry, everybody, but I'm going to check on my uncle now. Right? Who's taking a shower? What do you mean by that? Unky Eric? I'm gonna call him Unky Eric, because if he's really my Unky, then that means um he doesn't mind being called Unky Eric. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I'm kind of nervous because Unky Eric isn't who he says he is. That's Noah. Okay, Noah. There is Noah one here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Please just keep watching. Please keep watching. Uncle Eric? The heck? I don't understand. Oh, I can click on the bed. AKA the smallest twin size bed in the world. My parents must hate me. I must be an only child and they still hate me. Uncle's flight got delayed. What? What do you mean? Why are you so surprised? He is in the house. Don't joke with me. That's actually kind of scary. I swear to God, I'm not joking. Where is he right now? Lock yourself? I am getting the gun. Damn, bro, I'm a kid. I'm like five years old. Bro. Where's the gun? Hello? Uncle? Fuck, the gun's gotta be on the second floor, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be right here. <gasps> Where did my dad put the gun again? Wait. Is this asshole for real? Get gun! I got the gun! Hey! Ah! What the to do that again? When was the last time I cleaned the kitchen? That's what you sound like, little bitch boy. Can't believe that. Holding a gun and you can't even finish the job on your fake uncle, dude. Your fake ass uncle. Look at this guy. 
That's Uncle Eric? Aw, oh, man, that's Uncle Jarek. Look, he don't even wave like an uncle. He wave like an asshole. I like how he just casually tells his mom that he's getting the gun. Like, wow. That doesn't make any sense. But you know what? I'm not here to make sense. I'm here to make good with that gun and just go pow, 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 pow. Okay, so he's knocking at the door. And I need to get the gun quick. And I already have a complimentary horror game flashlight. All right, you son of a bitch, get in here. Come here. Show me something. Show me that ass, bitch! What do I do? Do I get the gun and hide somewhere or something? Like, this dude just ran at me like a running back, bro. He ran at me like a horny lion to a gazelle. Let's do this again, everybody. But this time, we are going to be smart about it. So I'm going to get the gun, but I'm gonna see if I can hide. Because I don't think that I just stand there like that. I'm standing there like an asshole. Like a pure asshole. So let me see. Can I hide under the bed? I shot the gun? What? No way. I can't believe I actually shot the gun. Please don't get me. How do you, how do you, how do I use the bullets? Can I do this? Where is he? Guy? Damn, no more bullets. What? I used my only bullet. Embarrassing. Shoot. Okay, so that bullet was just to scare him off. Oh no. Uncle? Oh shoot, there he is. Uncle, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, uncle. What are you doing? Oh no! Don't! I'm gonna hide right here. Pussy! What is this man doing? What the heck? Stop! Stop it! You well dressed serial killer! Calm down! What do I do? Where did he go? Did he leave? He better have left. Or else, I'm gonna throw this gun at him. I swear I will. Unky! I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Come on. How do you leave? Oh, he barred the door? What the heck? He had time to do that? Oh, shoot. There he is. Dude, my voice is cracking. Okay. Let's go this way. Holy crap. He barred that one, too. Oh, oh, no! Oh. Uncle. Uncle. Okay. What the hell? Bro. What is this? Oh. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, the cops arrived. The boys are back in town. And that's it. Wow. That was it. I actually thought it was going to be a little longer. I'm not going to lie. So that means I'm just going to have to check out another game. Please note that what you're about to see is highly disturbing. Do not distribute this tape to the public. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. This is actually another home invasion game, coincidentally, because the first one was, it was some fake ass uncle. This one is a VHS tape that's supposed to be disturbing, but I'm the most disturbing thing that's in this video, okay? Winchester Archives. I have no idea what the Winchester archives are, but they better make me pull my pants. Like, I better see some brown stains on my underwear after I play this, because it says, disturbing, do not distribute, none of that. Like, if you're gonna show me something in the very beginning of the game, you better mean it. Like, you better mean what you say and say what you mean. Welcome to Black Curves. Many people keep their gun at home for self-defense. I always keep that gun right on me. Six in ten people has gun ownership in Winchester. If you decide to keep a gun at home, be sure the gun is stored safely and that all family members know the rules about handling guns. What do you know about handling these guns? Daddy, chill. What do you know about handling these cannons? But first, let's test your shooting ability. Shoot your shot at these guns. Shoot your shot at these guns! I'll stop. That's the last time that I flex those guns, all right? Shoot the targets. Boom, ba, pow, wow. Shooby, dooby, booby, slooby. Poppy, wappy, sloppy, toppy. Boom, bow, to tow. Sloppy, sloppy, toppy, sloppy, toppy, sloppy, sloppy, toppy. I need to stop talking about sloppy, toppy, all right? Stop talking about sloppy, toppy, poppy, wappy. Okay, let me just shoot these targets. Congratulations! You did it. You're very good at this. Now here's your prize. Give it to me. Give me my prize. I don't want those fireworks. I want the real prize. I want the real freaking deal. Give it to me. Shoot him? Who's him? Shoot him. But I'm him. I'm not shooting myself. Shoot him. Oh. What did I just press? 
Where is she? <laughs> yeah, where is she? You can't save her. I can't save her? You killed her. Wait, that was a her? I don't under... I'm confused about what's going on right now. Winchester emergency alert. Civil authorities issued a child abduction emergency 11-5-2002. Thank you for that. Safety, please follow these instructions. No problem. Stay home at all costs. Lock all doors and windows. And? Okay. Don't answer the door. I'm not answering that. Hello? She's here. Oh, shoot! Wait, what? Sorry! Hold on. What's happening? Wait, uh, I'm confused. Bro, it's so dark. All I can see is my reflection. Who's there? Hey. Relax. Stop playing with me. Why are you hiding under your blanket? I'm scared of you, daddy. Oh man, what? That 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 that. I don't like where this is going, everybody. I'm not a fan of this. I have karate hands up. You know, just in case I gotta go. I'm a tan belt, everybody. What is that? Bro! I have no idea what this elevator music is, but I want no parts of it right now, please. And please do not show that ugly ass face to me again because I will use these guns. And I'm not talking about these right here. I'm talking about, you know? I'm talking about things that do not need to be said. It's kind of like some Harry Potter shit, like, he who must not be named. Like, I will blast she who must be blast. 2002 Bradford Psychological Association. Welcome to psychological stress test. I All want right. to welcome you to your first session. Thank you this very much. will give you some ideas about how much stress you deal with in your life. Let's get to it. For each item, indicate how much you agree or disagree with the statement. No problem. This takes most people about five minutes to complete. Take your time and answer truthfully for the most accurate results. You can now pick up your remote. Do you frequently, do not say fap, have difficulty making decisions? No, not at all. Do you frequently... Avoid people whose ideas are different from your own. No, because I love a good debate. I don't mind expressing my own ideas and them telling me their own ideas. And we could just either come to an understanding or we understand each other better. We don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. Do you frequently act rude? No, unless it's your mom because she has a nasty ass face. Do you frequently complain to yourself? No, because me and myself were good homies. Do you frequently keep everything inside? No, I don't think so. Do you frequently lie to anyone? There's nobody to lie to. So I can't be lying to anybody if there's nobody to lie to. Does that make sense? I hope so. Ah! Do you frequently kill your daughter? Yeah, I frequently kill my daughter because that makes sense. Do you frequently kill your daughter? Do you frequently hide the body? I know where you hide her. What do you mean though? Like you have me on camera? Did you catch me on 4K? Where is she? I don't know. What? Dude, that's creepy. What? This better be an AI generated face. I was just gonna say the timing of that, right? Like that better not be a real kid's face. Cause nowadays, they're just using AI to make any faces of people who never existed. That creeps me out so much. Like there's faces that are made with AI. It looks like you could see them walking down the street, but they've never existed in real life. And it's weird. It would be funny if like they never existed. They were just AI generated, but it was actually somebody in the world. Like it was like a doppelganger of somebody. Like if somebody made an AI generated face and it happened to look like me and it's like, this person does not exist. And I'm like, yeah, I'm right here. This fuck boy right here. Wait, now I'm playing as this. <laughs> what is this? All right, I'm playing as this stick figure for some reason. Do I have a flashlight? Bro, it is darker than the back of my gooch. But we are going to figure this out, everybody. Unless something's chasing me, then we are not going to figure anything out. I'm just going to scream in fear. I'm going to scream and hide and hide and scream. 
That's what I'll do. That'll teach him. That'll teach him not to mess with me. I can hit the high notes with the best of them. I promise you. And I feel like I'm going the right way. For no reason at all. It feels like... Ah! Sorry. Okay. I can't go down there? Por qué? Por qué no? WG and EG. So is that my daughter and my wife? Or my mother? Or my brother's mother? Brother's brother's mother? Now I just follow the blood. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Who's that? Yo, everybody, this is random. Last time, she was lying down on her bed. Okay, I just need you to stay put. Help is on the way. Can I have your name? Amanda Green. Please hurry. That is a very creepy face. Help is on the way, ma'am. Wait, I think my back door is opened. What do you mean the back door is opened? Is there someone with you? My son is not home yet. Is there someone in your backyard? I think someone's watching. <gasps> oh! What is this? Bro, I don't like that. Look at those Jeff the Killer eyes over there. Mom? The remaining footage is corrupted. Who said mom though? Like big old mommy milkers? Who said that? Bro, I'm trying to see some mommy milkers. I know that's random, but maybe after I record this, I'll go look at some mommy milkers. But right now, we gotta lock in, everybody. We gotta lock in. Because this shit's not adding up. Video evidence. Case number 1333. An investigator was assigned to this child abduction investigation. 22302. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry for reading slow. But we're here at the house. We're here at the crib. There's a single car in the front yard. How do you know it's single? It could be in a relationship. You never know that. Don't assume things. There's no response inside the house. The victim was last seen in the basement. And we're just going to go there? All right. There's something in the basement. What? What do I have? Zero out of 99. Ah! I don't like that. Nope. Nope. I don't like that. Oh, boy. Can I move? I'm just going to take pictures of the basement. Or can I go away? Oh, fuck me, silly senpai. Oh. Ah! Take a picture! Who's that? Oh my goodness. Error. The media playback was aborted due to a... Man, I'm so sorry for reading slow all the time. Last game of today's episode is called Night Shift, and you all know I love my night shifts. We go together like BBLs in Miami, so we are outside of... What is this? Diner. Put the boxes in the pantry. Who the hell is this guy Tell me what to do? And by the way, this is the freaking Ronald McDonald one. Like, he better not be in there. I better not see a stinky shit inside of the bathroom. Let me see. Let me see if I do. If I find a stinky poo there, then this is definitely the Ronald McDonald one. I don't have access to the toilet. Okay. So I'm just going to pick up this box, and I need to put it in the pantry. Why is the box spinning? Am I just spinning it on my dick hole? Like, what am I doing right now? Put it inside the pantry, they say. Okay. There's number one, and we just need to get the others. All right. Where did I see them? Hold on. Where did I see those boxes? This diner got to be like buy one, get one free for game developers or something, because I've been seeing this diner a lot lately. And by a lot lately, I mean a lot, a lot. Like, I think I've seen this like four times in the last month. You know when you don't really like somebody, and you have to see them like... Ah! What was that? Are you sure you closed the door? What do you mean? What door? What, do you, what door are you talking about? I can't close any door. What? What do I do? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Bro, I'm out here not even making that much money. And you out here gonna kill me for what? For like 10 bucks? All right, go ahead then. Clap my cheeks for 10 bucks then. What? Okay, now the light just randomly turned off. Looks like the plugs are blown. Turn on the shield. You want me to tell you what else is blown? You really want me to tell you what else is blown? 
To turn on the flashlight, press F. Wait, the flashlight is on. What do you mean turn on the shield? So the flashlight is called the shield? What country do they do that at? I do like how these things are highlighted though. That's actually real cute. It's like anti-dumbass proof. Or it's dumbass proof, I mean. But, did I do it? I don't think I did it. What is that? Bro, whose red scary eyes are looking at me like that? I don't know what I do. Did I do it? Please tell me I did it. Please tell me I did something. I want to know if I did something. <laughs> I was just gonna say, please tell me I did something right in my life, but apparently I didn't. Alright, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!